Well, welcome to another episode of season one, episode two of Prophetic Chronicles, one of our new shows broadcast coming out of Morning Star Ministries here in Fort Mill, South Carolina. I am Chris Reed, and I'm joined again today with my special guest, Pastor Randy Cutter from Coral Springs, Florida, and he pastors New Dawn Community Church uh, there in Coral Springs. And, you know, the, the purpose of this show is to chronicle the prophetic. You know, as we say each time, the Bible is full of examples of when people had prophetic words, prophetic encounters, and the backstory, and then the fruit that's produced from it. And a true prophetic word will produce fruit. So, Pastor Randy, welcome. Tell uh, the folks a little bit about your church. I know you did in episode one, where they can find you, and um, anything that you'd like to share. Well, New Dawn Community Church has been in Coral Springs for a lot of years. I personally have been here uh, working in churches since 1987. 1995, New Dawn was formed, and we connected with Morning Star Ministries right away. In 1998, we became a Morning Star Fellowship Church and have learned so much, and it has been an invaluable relationship for us. We're located in the Broward in Broward County in Southeast Florida. That's where Fort Lauderdale is located. And we are in the west side of the county. We're a bedroom community of Fort Lauderdale and a city of about 130,000. And so we've been fortunate to be able to minister here and to be able to uh, release some of the training we've received along the way. It's been a good relationship and it's been a wonderful time watching what God does, especially as he's developing the prophetic right now at even higher levels. Yeah, well, you know, the first week of February, myself, the Hardimans, um, and a lot of the pastors who pastor Morningstar uh, Fellowship of Churches, that's churches, spirit-filled churches that are uh, affiliated with us in connection, ministers that are ordained through us, because Morningstar is a fellowship of churches, a fellowship of ministers. We have um, so many different uh, various outlets, ways to plug people in the body of Christ. But yeah, we had our Fellowship of Churches conference um, in early February of 2023. And on February the 5th, on a Sunday morning, I was ministering in your church in that particular meeting, uh, like the last one from the first episode. And if people didn't see that episode, I encourage them to go back and see the first episode of Prophetic Chronicles. I think it's worth it. Um, but in this second episode, it was the Sunday morning service and it was open to the public. And I gave a word to a man and a woman in your congregation that you know, but you also know that I don't know them. They didn't know me. You didn't tell me anything about them. I don't think there's really any way I could find anything about them. Uh, so what I got had to have been from the Lord. You know, the interesting thing is one part of the word that you gave, we did not know at all. We knew some of it, of course, because we've been in relationship with them for almost 20 years, but we could never find out anything about his military service. And the only time we ever looked because we were wanting to set up to honor him, um, we were we couldn't we couldn't go anywhere. We were told, you know, leave it alone. And so that was even more amazing that the Lord gave you that aspect where there was tremendous healing needed. And of course, I'm 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 preempting the video a bit, but boy, what an impressive and God glorifying moment all of that was. And that's what this is all about. It is about glorifying God. Without further ado, let's go and dip into the service. It's kind of a long word, but you'll want to listen to the end because the story is so profound. It will touch your heart. It will bless you, and you'll want to tell people about it. So let's dip into the service now. Sunday, February the 5th, 2023 at New Dawn Community Church in Coral Springs, Florida, as I am ministering that Sunday morning. Here we go. Is there someone here who recently had a car wreck, a car accident? I'm seeing somebody here this morning who recently had a, some sort of car accident. You said, how long? Three years ago. 
uh, were you hit? Yeah. Um, were, there were, I feel like that there were complications as a result of that. Yes, with my wife. Yeah, is this your wife? Yes, sir. Okay, nice to meet you. Um, uh, there were complications there, and... There's also a more recent one. A, a, another recent wreck? Yeah. Involving her or you? No, just me and okay. my grandson. Okay, wow. So, how, so one three years ago and then one more recent than that? Yes, sir. Okay. I don't know why I'm seeing this. I don't know, like, I'm seeing something Ralph Drive. I don't know if, what, why I'm seeing that. Uh, what that would have to do it may not even have to do anything with you as sometimes I catch glimpses of things in the spirit but uh, I want to pray for a healing for your uh, back man for the mm -hmm. Lord uh, L4 I see the Lord touching L4 mm -hmm. does that make sense to you L4 yeah. down yes uh, L4 and L3 three and L4 but also see him healing your right there your mm -hmm. clavicle mm -hmm. yeah clavicle yeah. bone i see the lord touching yeah. that and i see him also bringing healing to your neck and yes. shoulders yes, yes. Thank, yes. You. thank you have you had to have surgery because of this i ref can refuse it and trust the lord well but but they've tried to do that i see a yes. doctor telling you, you yeah. need to do this yes yeah we just declare right now a complete healing in this woman's body in the name of Jesus, in her lower back, but also in her shoulders, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, by His stripes you are healed. Yes. Be healed in Jesus' name. Yes. Be healed in Jesus' name. Yes. Receive it now. All the pain's got to go. The Lord is correcting everything that is incorrect in your body, that is out of alignment, out of sorts, Healing over you right now in Jesus Christ's name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I see it was like some sort of gray vehicle in one of them. I don't know. I just caught a glimpse of something gray. Uh, a car that was involved in the accident. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, the one that uh, hit us was a gray truck. Yeah. Is there any way I could know that? I mean, no. No. It's a gray truck. Um, but it's kind of bizarre because the individual, I see like, it's like they weren't really, I mean, they hated that it happened. There's something in, there's some sort of injustice about this. Mm -hmm. um, because there wasn't real contrition, I feel like. Correct. Uh, accepting blame. I, I don't know. Does this make sense to yes, you? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like you didn't want to. This person didn't want to take responsibility. Yeah, they blamed us and, and blamed you, right. they, and, and I, almost like trying to to sue you instead of exactly. taking responsibility for exactly. it. Exactly. Did that happen? Yes, sir. That's all true. Yes, sir. Is there any way I can know that? No, sir. All right. Wow. Do you know this man's name? You don't have to say it. Don't say it. I don't recall. Okay. I think I do. But I won't say it. <clears throat> Has these, have these issues been resolved with this? Not yet. Wow. Yes. After all this time. So somebody would say, oh, well, he just guessed that. Tell me <laughs> how that after all this time it's still not resolved. There's, I think there's something... Um, in May that's going to change for this. Amen. I don't know. Some, is there a hearing scheduled? Yes. When? Between March and May. Okay. <laughs> that, there, there we go. Um, I feel like uh, the Lord's going to show up for you and He's going to bring justice on your Amen. behalf. Amen. I just Amen. command closure yes. to come with this and your medical bills to be paid for yes. as well. Amen. From whiplash. Yes. Yes. While I'm at it, I also break. Uh, the enemy would love to take you out, sir, with a heart condition. 
But the, I see an artery that is closed 60% while I'm talking to you, and the Lord's opening it right now. <laughs> Have you had problems with your heart? I had a heart attack and four stints. Four stints. Four stints. Wow. Yes. God, you are merciful. Yes, I, I just saw my dad. My dad's 75. Um, and he's had four or five stints. Something very similar. Um, the Lord is bringing healing to your heart. Yes, Lord. Fixing the blood pressure. I see a, um, uh, as I said, 60% blockage. And I just see the force of grace removing that cholesterol, bringing that. You take cholesterol medication? No. 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 Well, they probably would want you to. Um, but I'm asking the Lord right now to collect, correct your cholesterol because it is out of balance. I see high triglycerides. But does that make sense to you? But yes, the sir. Lord. Is that true? Yes, sir. Yeah, the Lord touching you right now in the yes, name sir. of Jesus. Thank you. Lord. Bringing that down to a normal range yes. for the glory of God. Healing yes. of your triglycerides, your cholesterol, yes. and your heart in yes. the name of Jesus. I also see damage from some sort of heart attack on the... It's like on the bottom but backside of the heart. I don't know. I'm seeing the bottom and backside, and the Lord is healing that. I see that right now. You're going to feel a warmth in your chest. Release now in the name yes. of Jesus Christ for the glory of God. Be healed yes. right now. You, Be healed right now for the glory of God. Yes. The Lord just touch you as well, man, from dealing with pain. Yes. I see prickly, needle-like pain. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Um, yes. Uh, I'm trying to remember what that's called. It, it just was right in front of me. Um, not neuropathy. That's not the thing that I'm thinking of. It's, uh, uh, there's a certain condition that they, they claim that causes unexplainable pain. Um, well, anyways, I just break the power of fibromyalgia. I break that in the name of Jesus because that's what they claim when there's no, they can't really define it. Uh, and so I just speak healing over you in Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. Be healed in the name of Jesus of this unexplainable source of pain. Yes, the one connected to the car accident, but I just declare you to be healed in the name of Jesus. I see you, yeah, brother. I, I don't know. I see you. You've been in some real battles uh, in your life. Um, I don't know. I even see you. I don't know if this is in the natural or the spirit, but I see you in like a, a, a military uniform almost. Um, does that make sense to you at all? I don't know. I, I yeah, put 10 years in the Marine Corps. You put 10 years in the Marine Corps. One year in Vietnam. Wow, there we go. You believe the Lord is, is Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, yeah. today, and forever. He can reveal the secrets of the heart. There's something that happened while you were in that that has haunted you for uh, years. That you were put in a situation that it was either you had to do it the way you did it or else it, others would have been hurt and yourself, you could have died yourself. But the Lord wants you to know He's forgiven you of that. And He's taken care of the families of the people that you uh, were fighting there in that uh, situation. And the Lord wants to free you of guilt Amen. that you've carried. In fact, I'll go so far as to tell you, it's the source of your heart problems. Because you've carried this for about... Om over 40 years there has been is that true yes sir yeah I, I i don't know why i'm i'm seeing 1975 i don't know what that means or if well, that, that was that was the end of the war but i was there a few years before okay um lord just total closure in that situation and the removal of guilt 
so it doesn't affect your heart. Even though there's been heart disease in your family history, that's not the cause of yours. And I just declare what happened with your father won't happen with you. Amen. That's broken. The Lord bringing healing to your heart now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I'm thinking of John, the, um, the writer John, who talked about the love of God being made perfect in love. There's no fear in love. And the Lord just removed that fear and that trauma and even PTSD just out of your mind. You no longer have to carry that. The Lord's forgiven you of that. You can walk free. You did the best you could. Yes. And you, you are a godly good man. Amen. And you, are, you need to know that, that the Lord sees that about you. In Jesus' name. And I'm just also, while we're at it, we'll just ask Him to fix the bottom of your feet and also Amen. your knees. <laughs> Does that make sense to you? Is that right? I just The angel of the Lord just told me that. Tell him that sensitivity on the bottom of the feet yeah. and uh, the problems with the joints and the knees. Yeah. And the Lord's just, is that true? The Lord, I, the Lord? I had my knees replaced twice. Twice? Twice. Wow. Still lots of problems. Well, I just pain. heard the angel tell me. Uh, there's still problems, though. Yes. In Jesus Christ's name, be healed. Well, there it is, Randy. Wow. Um, yeah, you know, wow. I, I, I've been, um, I'm 38 years old. I've been preaching uh, this July, 2023 will be 25 years of preaching. I know you've been at it longer than me. Um, I've been a pastor for going on 14 years, and I've been doing prophetic ministry for about the last 10 or 11 years. And even in encounters like that myself, I still am shocked. Sometimes it takes me days to kind of come out of that realm. That's pretty hard for even the skeptics to, uh, you've got to want to disprove uh, something so bad to not see something supernatural happen here. Uh, so we started off, I'll just summarize quickly. I go into this vision, I see this car accident, I see the color of the car, the truck rather, that hits them. I see where the wife, the husband and wife, probably in their 70s, I would say, uh, I see where she was injured, I pray for her to receive healing. I seen he had a um, heart condition, he had had a few stents already put in, so I prayed for the Lord to bring healing to his heart, I saw that by revelation. I also saw that someone was suing them for the car accident when they were the ones who were hit. And then the Lord showed me something about the month of May. And I believe if I'm uh, remembering right, it's right around that time when the litigation is supposed to have some closure. Isn't that correct? That is correct. He had just told me a couple days earlier that now, finally, they are seeing light at the end of that tunnel and that there is going to be some sort of settlement reach that is going to be in their favor, even more in their favor than the lawyers thought were possible. Yeah, and I, I saw that. I actually said, you know, that somebody was suing you or something along those lines. I don't remember exactly the words, but I, I pointed out how they were suing them and it was unjust and, and something along those lines. And then I went into this part. Um, I saw him in a military uniform. I saw the year 1975, which is, I believe, the year the Vietnam War ended. And I saw him dealing with something, carrying something so heavy. And I remember feeling in that moment what I said to him that the Lord wanted him to be freed from, from guilt or shame, for him to know he was forgiven, for him to not question God's love for him. You know, just those statements similar along those lines. And then, I mean, he was weeping, you could tell, but it wasn't until after the service that he came up and told me 
personally than others something that happened almost 50 years ago that he had never even told his wife. And that's this story. He was a gunny sergeant uh, in, from what I'm understanding, correct me if I'm wrong, he was a gunny sergeant. He had a platoon of men under him, about 100 men, in the Vietnam War, and he was given orders by his lieutenant for him and the men in his platoon to take a hill, meaning take territory from uh, the people they were fighting. And he didn't want to do it, but they told him, if you don't do it, you'll be prosecuted. And so he was left with this decision, either A, I take the mission, follow the orders, and it's going to be pretty much suicide, or I reject the orders uh, and I get prosecuted and dishonorably discharged in prison time, only the Lord knows what else. And so he did follow the orders. And out of the 100 men he led into that battle that day, 40 of the 100 didn't come home. And he was never able to talk about it. He hadn't even been able to tell his wife and he told me at the end, I haven't been able to tell anyone this. Now it's going to go from being a secret that has been eating me alive, basically, to now it can be my testimony. Go ahead and share what you can, what you know about this. The um, interesting thing is, is that, you know, when he, the reason he wouldn't lead the men up the hill, of course, is because he knew that his hundred men, I mean, it was a bleak situation and he felt that he was going to lose the majority of them. It was probably God answering a, a prayer of his heart that he only lost. And I say only it's a horrendous death toll. Um, as he was going up that hill, the, he was praying because he assumed they were all going to die, that he would die first. So he wouldn't have to see all of his men die. And I can't even imagine the trauma of that also, as we were talking about the gentleman that you spoke to on Friday night, I can understand why it would be eating him alive. And I watched as you ministered to him and you could see the weight come off of him. You could see that his countenance changed in a very subtle way as this secret which had eaten him alive i mean a secret he didn't even tell his wife think about that um wow and it now is something that it he's not only healed but he's going to be able to use it now to help others i'm a chaplain for the veterans in coral springs and i can tell you his testimony is going to help a lot of people and that's what this is all about. It's not about self-glory. It's about what God can do through the power of prophecy. And here's what's interesting. I think you had even told me he's already scheduled a men's meeting, and we probably know what he's going to be sharing. Yes. He called me and almost instantly on Sunday he said, hey, would this be a good date for a men's meeting? And uh, my response was, I wonder what, I don't even remember if I wrote that down, but I wonder what you're sharing, you know, and I know right. what you'll be sharing. Yeah. And he gave us the, you know, permission to, he told me, he's like, you know, you have no idea. And, and, and to share this is so liberating for him and it gives glory to god and that's what this is all about chronicling the prophetic without a doubt and well and you didn't stop there you relieved you, you released him from so much else in in his health um you hit the th he's he's been a little unstable on his feet because of his knee issues and the the bottoms of his feet that was causing, you know, a little bit of unsteadiness. And I'm looking forward to see his whole gait change now as you released healing to him. That that Marine, you know, gunny sergeant walk coming back that I know so well from his past. Yeah. Well, you know, you can only you you can only get guessed so many times and it be considered guesswork. But when it's the real revelation from the Lord. Uh, it will change someone's life. And I'm humbled, frankly, when the Lord allows me to be used that way. And I can honestly say, if I lived anywhere near Coral Springs, 
Florida, South Florida, your church is where I would be going. Tell people one more time before we sign off today where they can find you or a website and your location again. We are, our website is newdawn.org, N-E-W-D-A-W-N.org. And we are located in Coral Springs at 9955 Northwest 31st Street. And for those of you anywhere around Coral Springs, uh, you have to know about Wings Plus. It's been here forever. And it's one of the best Wings places. We are just south of there on Sample Road. Yeah, I ate there while I was there. And it is a good place. And uh, thank you again for hosting the Morningstar Fellowship of Church's annual conference. And thanks again for being the man of God that you are and being consistent and staying around for all of these years. And, you know, you're well beyond me in, in so many things. You're my elder, and you're even in our School of the Prophets here at Morningstar. And I just personally want to uh, appreciate you, uh, Pastor Randy Cutter, and thank you for joining me in this interview today for Prophetic Chronicles. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. It's wonderful to be with you, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you at the School of the Prophets this week. Yeah, and to all of you that are watching us today, thank you. Share this, tell other people about it, and until next time, I'm Chris Reed coming to you from Morningstar, and join us again for our next Prophetic Chronicles. In 1987, I had a two and a half day experience in which I was shown a panoramic vision of what is to come, which I wrote about in this book, The Harvest. I saw a harvest coming like the world never seen. The Lord showed me two waves of revival. The first one that I saw was going to be the greatest harvest the church had yet experienced. Now I'm talking about from the original day of Pentecost until now. It was that big, but it was only the reaping of the laborers who were going to be the laborers in a coming much greater harvest. 